Hi guys, this is a video of Windows 8. It's a dead quick summary. Um, just to show you the benefits of a Windows 7 and the benefits over Vista. I mean, you benefit over Vista if you don't have a machine because Vista is shit. Um, okay, so let's get cracking in this Windows 8 uh, overview. Okay, so here we are at the rather familiar looking um, lock screen. So we can log in with our password and that will take us to the start menu. This is the new start menu in Windows 8. Uh, as you can see it's quite a bit different from the one in Windows 7. Mm. Okay, so um, it is running like absolute crap because this is a virtual machine so obviously there's no hardware acceleration or any of that stuff um, virtually. So, if I just show you the main things in Windows 8. So obviously this is the start menu as I said. It's quite a bit different. Um, we, just, we can pop out to the desktop by clicking the desktop button as you can see by our lovely background here um, I'll show you love this picture okay so we can see that most things look the same here apart from the background as in Windows 7 um, apart from the fact that the start menu has disappeared now how do we get that up? We, we go to the left hand corner and the start button sort of appears from the corner it's very elegant this Windows 8, so you click that and it fades on quite nicely. As I say, it is running like absolute crap because it's a virtual machine. I have tried this on my laptop and it is very stable and it runs very well, even on a not so good laptop. Okay, so the specs for Windows 8 that are needed are basically anything that can run Windows 7. That would include, just say, ideally at least a dual core processor um, at least two gigs of RAM and a decent enough graphics card um, so yeah if I just go through some of the apps that are in Windows 8 okay so you've got the mail app that will automatically link you to your Windows Live mail as you can see I've got an email here and you can browse through your folders by clicking here although I don't want to so you can pop back to the start menu by going to the left hand corner and clicking start or you can press the start key on the keyboard which will take you back okay so if we pop through to the next um, app on the um, on here that is people so you can see all the people I've got in here, all my friends, because I'm popular, uh, as you would expect. And, um, okay, so that's generally that. So you can see what's new, me, people. Anyway, you, you get the general idea. So we pop back to start menu again. That's that app. You see the lovely tiles, all the pictures here that pop up. Makes you feel like a bit of a pervert. Okay, so messaging. I haven't really got to grips with this one yet. I think it's some app that links you with Windows Live Messenger. So you can chat with it via Facebook and Windows Live Messenger. Because, as it says here, connected to Facebook and Windows Live. Okay, so if we pop back to the start menu again, uh, I've shown you the, the desktop, so that's nothing much changed. You get your calendar, you can view people's birthdays and different events. So, Queen Queen's Diamond Jubilee and spring bank holiday and such like so put back this one will be photos you can view all your photos that have been linked with um, Facebook and uh, ones that people have taken and then uploaded and it's been downloaded from Flickr or or whatever uh, videos, you can view videos weather I'll just show you that one and loads that is just take a few seconds to load this one because it has to download data from the internet and our connection is like really slow. Anyway, okay, so you can get an hourly forecast. Um, um, so, yeah, you can just scroll across here if I can grab the thing at the bottom here. If you're using a tablet, it's easy to scroll across because it's just like a Windows phone. And as we know, Windows phones are brilliant. So, uh, yeah, if we pop back to start menu again. Um, now see they've integrated Internet Explorer into um, into here, 
So, of course, they love their Bing, so that's the home page of set. Um, you now see the taskbar is the taskbar, what am I on about? The uh, address bar is at the bottom, so we can click that as it used to be at the top of the um, page before. Okay, so if we just pop back the start menu again. We now see that we have a window store, and it's just like um, the the app store within Mac OS X line, which is brilliant if you love this sort of thing. Um, okay, when it loads, that is through this app, you can download apps such as the, such as the Wikipedia app, uh, games. Um, Although the the app, the app what am I on about? The store is isn't that big at the minute. Um, it will grow as Windows 8 is released and it gets installed on more computers and more people develop software and what have you. Okay, so we just scroll across here. You can see cut the rope. You can see photo fold the category even uh, all that sort of all this stuff. Okay, so it's put back. Uh, we can view the maps. I'm not going to show you that because I'll show you where I am. I don't want that. You can view SkyDrive files, your music. That all that tile is live as well. So that will um, show the uh, music that you're listening to, and you can see that they've also integrated Xbox Live, which is good. Which will show, which will show you um, all that sort of stuff when it loads. Here are the, some of the latest games that were loaded here. I haven't got these installed, but you can download them, I believe. And one of the other games that you do install, such as these ones, will appear in, in this app, so you can see all your games. So, if you decide you want to play a game, you're not sure which one to play, I've looked through all of them, you pick which one you want and you play it. Great idea. So, you've got a camera as well, if you've got a camera integrated into your system. News, so we see this. I mean, the UI is very, very elegant in Windows 8, which always makes it nice to use. Um, yeah, so you can see plane crashes, oh dear. Um, all that other, lo other, other lovely stuff. I say that that will be smoother if it was on a real machine. You can view the sport. It's just like the um, the news app, just with lots of idiots running around a football pitch. Uh, you see that there? We don't want to see that because they're boring. So travel. I haven't been in this app actually. I'll see what this is about. I assume it lets you see flight information and stuff like that. Um. Amsterdam. Oh, I so see. You can see different places and stuff. Well, that's clever. Huh? I like that. So, so, so we click on somewhere. So we go to Tokyo. Uh, you can see the exchange rates and find flights and things like that to different places. So that's always good. Lose you. Uh. Okay, so pop back to start menu, and you can see view the finance, which is just like the news and all, all the other apps which they're all based in like a metro style which is always nice because it lets you view um, apps in a much more elegant much more elegant way if I can get my words out of my mouth okay, that doesn't look good but hey that doesn't bother me because mm, I don't know why anyway probably should but no, anyway I'll shut up now uh, yeah um, see across the markets just general stuff like that just about to start menu again. Now, all the other apps that you install, like Microsoft Office, you know, uh, Word, Excel, all that, all that crap, will appear here, and you can scroll across. Which I can't scroll across because there's nothing there. You can zoom out if you go to the right-hand corner where there's a minus sign. Click that, and it will zoom you out, so you can see all your apps across the whole screen, which is always nice if you've got, say, a triple monitor display triple display monitor, whatever you, however you say it, um, then you can just zoom back in again. 
we put back to the desktop again, we can see that if we scroll down to the right-hand corner, a few settings, a few like uh, things pop up with settings, devices, start menu, share, and search. These are called charms, and these are designed so you can sort of quickly edit things. You know, pop things up, pop things down, all that. Um, view settings, go into the control panel, all that lovely stuff. Now I have also noticed because I am um, quite. I spot things dead easily, kind of thing. Um, you'll see that they've also got a new mouse. Wrong one. You'll also see that they've got all that, all this lovely um, sort of smooth uh, address bar and buttons and stuff like that. I say we've got a new mouse, so we just go to large icons and we pop to the find mouse for me. Where's mouse? Mouse there. Um, Good pointers. It is a different colour. It's just one of the things I noticed. Um, so right. So yeah, if I just um, it's very quick at shutting down. This is what I've noticed. So if we just um, this is the only thing I think is a bit weird. You have to scroll down to the right, click settings, click power, and then shut down, and then it'll go off. But just watch how quick this goes down, or how quick it went down on my laptop anyway. Well, yeah, that w that went down quick on my laptop. But anyway, so that's my quick overview overview on Windows 8. And please rate, comment, subscribe, do all that lovely stuff. Um, there'll be a link in the description to um, the download for win this Windows 8 release um, preview. As I say, it's still in beta at the minute, but there will be a video that um, I do when the final release of Windows 8 comes out. Check out my links um, accounts. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching.